Has the move to the Big Ten changed your strategy at all from in any part of recruiting who you're looking for from a talent perspective when you're evaluating? How has it kind of impacted how you how you build a program? Well, I think first it's 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 in some ways maybe opening up even more some areas of the country uh, mm-hmm. to recruit. Now, USC has always been and always will be a yeah. national brand, but all of a sudden with you playing some games in the Midwest on the East Coast regularly, uh, I think it makes you know some of those areas even more accessible. And you've seen that even last year with, with our recruiting class, mm-hmm. signing several players from those areas. Um, and I think that has a chance to continue. Um, I, I do think there's a couple of spots as you look at a roster that you might carry one more of this position and maybe one less of that position. Mm-hmm. But the, the Big Ten football wise, as we've studied it, I don't think is like radically different <laughs> from all the other conferences. Yeah. I mean, I think there's some really, really good teams, some really good coaches, some great, you know, venues you're going to go into. Like there's definitely new challenges, but you know, our, our goal has been to come here and win national championships. I mm-hmm. mean, that, that's been the goal. That's why we signed up from the beginning. To do that, you have to be good enough to beat everybody, you know, yeah. including Big Ten teams and anybody else. So I think where we were headed anyways in terms of our program, uh, I don't know that we were going to have to change course a lot. Uh, but but at the same time, you know, have a respect and understand there are new challenges coming, the ones that we're looking forward to. 